My helicopter people, where are you at? Leave us a like if you're one of our helicopter subscribers because I know you guys don't get enough love, but today we're gonna take a look at this budget ready to fly XK helicopter. This is the K127, they call it the Eagle K127. This is definitely geared toward beginners. First of all, the price is great. And second, we have flight stabilization or altitude hold like what drones have and a 16 minute flight time. Now we've seen a helicopter like this before on our channel and when it says 16 minutes, we've seen fly for like 15 minutes realistically. So fingers crossed we get a nice long flight time and this is easy to fly. We have very little wind on this calm evening and I'm excited to put it in the air and see how it does. Now a lot of you have been asking us about unboxings. Why don't you do unboxings anymore of all the stuff we used to love when you shared everything. Well here you go, here's a quick glance. Here's the helicopter, the radio. Put it down a little bit, I can't see it. USB go. charge cable, we have an extra main gear in here and whether you like it or not, this is the flight battery. So it comes in this little proprietary shell, okay? The good thing is it charges via USB, micro USB. The downside is it's proprietary. So they do sell extra batteries. It probably costs an extra dollar as opposed to the traditionally sized uh, battery. But let's plug it in and see how it does before we lose our daylight. This little helicopter just looks really cool. I like the collar scheme. We have a nice auto takeoff land button. So let's push that. And I literally I really feel like I need to show that again. I'm gonna press that again to land it. And this time, I wanna show this. It's magical. And I hit, the, hit it to land. I did nothing. Very nice. That's the kind of helicopter Nate likes. You do nothing. <laughs> Show off to all your friends. Look what I can do. I have not touched the controls on this helicopter yet. We have a light one mile an hour breeze and that's why it's drifting in that direction. So I'm gonna push it back over here with the right stick. What I did was rotate the helicopter and I like to fly helicopters like forward motion the whole time. You know, you can do this side strafing thing like this and that's cool. But oh, to me, helicopters. for orientation, I like the helicopter to fly forward and then I use the left stick to rotate the helicopter. So I'm just keeping the right stick pressed forward this whole time and when I'm ready to turn, I use the left stick and I turn the helicopter. Kind of helps for orientation. Now when you get better, you can do both at the same time and bank a lot tighter. You gotta pick sky or we'll go hill. Sky. We'll go sky, yeah. So guys, we had this awesome 4K camera and then it bit the dust. It's I getting worked it. on right now. <laughs> we miss it so bad. Uh, it just did a little bit of the work for us, but good old manual controls Abby is a beast at making everything. Good <laughs> the camera battery is almost dead, so if there's an awkward cut here in a bit, that's okay. <laughs> it's me changing so this, the battery. This hover, this hover is awesome yeah. because it's doing it by itself. This helicopter is crazy easy to fly, and the only reason it's getting closer to us is because that one mile an hour breeze is pushing it over toward us. So I highly recommend on your first helicopter flight, you do it in no wind or an evening like this where it really feels like there's no wind and uh, it's about one mile an hour. That's why it's moving just so slowly. So we have a high-low switch too. And now we can actually fly even faster. So that's really cool. We're in the high rate. Let's see how fast this can actually fly. Kind of hard to tell up there with no clouds, but it's <laughs> looking for such a small helicopter. Let's rotate it back around. Oh, nice. We can do stunt, stunt spins too, I call them. Okay, throttling down a little bit so we can get right on top of the hill. Oh, sorry about the, sorry about the brightness there. I ducked down below the hill and probably the camera was harder to see, but this helicopter is really easy to fly. Let's try my stunt spins. I'll get it in a little closer. It sounds good too, Abby. This thing mm -hmm. sounds good. I really like this helicopter. Okay, stunt spins. This is the high rate and you just push the left stick all the way over one way or the other back and forth if you want to and you do these stunt spins they look kind of fancy to a beginner pilot but they're definitely not like the real pro 3d pilots out there you guys those people are absolutely nuts i don't know how they do it but to me this helicopter flies really well in the low rate and then when you fly full forward you don't lose any altitude you can actually see it going down just a hair with that hill that is full forward right there with no throttle input 
right there I gave just a touch so if you want to maintain your altitude but you're flying at full throttle ahead like full forward ahead you have to actually give a little bit of throttle input to maintain the altitude that you're at otherwise it flies really predictably and really well this is one of the better little budget helicopters I've ever flown no complaints yet. I guess the only complaint would be is if you're in high rate, which we'll do this again here. Sam, that's full throttle ahead, you guys. High rate, check this out. When we fly full forward, watch what it does. Abby, get ready, it's gonna drop, okay? See it's dropping, see it's dropping, 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 dropping. Just get ready to catch it, okay? You wanna let go of full forward before it hits the ground. So let me get it a little closer and we'll show you guys that again. Flies really well, nice and predictable. I like the altitude hold on this for a beginner pilot. Let's lower it, pulling the throttle down some. So now, let me get it higher. Sorry, I mean, that's not me. What I wanna do is actually go full forward again to show you guys the drop on this, okay? Mm -hmm. So you know what to plan ahead for. Here we go, full forward, and you can see how much it's dropping. Already it's below the hill, and then let go. Last second before we hit the ground. Okay, so that's the only thing you need to plan ahead for. Also, don't do, as I saw the helicopter rising up pretty fast there, don't do what a lot of people ask, how high will it go, how far will it go? <laughs> never, never do that. Because a helicopter do that. like this, you want to be able to maintain line of sight. There's no GPS return to home or anything like that. So you wanna keep it close enough that you can see orientation, which means don't fly it too high. The helicopter itself can fly way higher than you can see, uh, so don't worry about the range of this, worry about your range of this. Keep it close enough that you can see it, but also, you know, don't fly it too close to you because this little guy would hurt if it hit you. Now here's a pro tip too. When you're learning to fly helicopters, don't fly them this low to the ground. A lot of people think it's a good idea to fly it this low to the ground because you're safer, right? You're not gonna crash if you're flying it this low to the ground. But what you're doing is fighting your own prop wash. There's a ton of wind, boom, being pushed down underneath that prop. And so this helicopter, even though it has altitude hold and it's better than most, it's fighting. That's why it's doing all this dancing around, right? It's fighting the prop wash. So if you wanna have success with this helicopter, you need to fly it around what I call like waist height to chest height area. That way you're not fighting your prop wash and you can get a really good feel for how to control this. And as boring as it might sound, your first few flights, what you need to do is face the helicopter away from you. So like this. Right? And it makes sense when you have the tail pointing to you and its nose pointing away for orientation because then when I pull right on the stick, it goes right. When I pull left on the stick, it goes left. Forward is forward and back is back. But when you fly a helicopter like this, just like drones, and you flip that helicopter around, now all of a sudden the controls are backwards. When I pull right on the stick, this helicopter is actually going what we see as left. When I push left on the stick, we're going to the right. You see that? And then pulling back goes further away. So even those those controls are backwards too. So I highly recommend when you guys you fly. Go, <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend when you guys fly your first time a helicopter like this, at least your first 10 times, you face the helicopter away from you and then you practice the glass bubble zone. Just keep it in this fake glass bubble here, right? Get get used to the controls before you take it way out to here. And now it's kind of hard to see which way is that helicopter facing. Well, if it wasn't for that little red light on the back, I would even struggle to see. And you guys got a zoom lens there to help you. But it really helps to learn the orientation when you're flying a helicopter like this. And as boring as what I just said might sound, that's going to help Ooh, save you a lot thanks, of money, I need Abby. To yawn. <laughs> Abby. She wants to see me crash this thing, I think. Everybody does. This is not a stunt helicopter. It's a training helicopter that's 10 times better than those little infrared helicopters with, um, you know, the, the balance beam on the oh, top. Oh, I of remember it. those. I could never fly we, them. We've had a ton of them. And this helicopter has an insanely long flight time, so we're not going to fly it for this whole video. But we're going to do is an auto land button. Here we go. <laughs> He's so happy about that. <laughs> Ta da! 
I had a really good feeling about this helicopter because I've seen that I, I, this, I could be crazy and losing my mind. We may have done this exact helicopter before, but I know we haven't because I just cut the zip ties when we got up here. So if you've seen this helicopter, this might just be- Or we bought two. Might've got two of them on accident. But either way, it's a winner. And After I do remember- How many videos do we have? Sorry? How many videos have we filmed for YouTube? Is oh, it 1,800? Like 2,000 on those. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It is over 2,000 because I probably deleted like four or 500. We flew this one just over there up against that building in the winter just to get out of some cold. It was yeah. very similar to this, guys. It might have been like the Ishin version and this is the XK version, okay? But either way, I remember liking it a lot and having a crazy long flight time and freezing our buns off just to do the video. So this is a winner for a beginner helicopter. 10 times better than anything you'll find at Walmart, and I'm a huge fan, especially for the price. We'll have a link in the description box below. Make sure you get the exact one that we're flying, because there are some knockoffs out there. And using the link helps support us. A massive thanks to the big guy upstairs for giving us just enough time to get this video in before the sun went down. We almost pushed it too close, and a big thanks to our Patreon supporters. You guys allow us to be absolutely transparent on our videos and just keep us motivated and going free family RC content for the world because of you guys. Thank you so much. We'll have a cool helicopter video, maybe one me crashing, not a very proud moment, but I did it, popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.